Well, if you did not know, October, the month we're currently in, is Cybersecurity Awareness Month, a very important thing, and it is crucial to shed light on internet safety as technology becomes even more and more advanced. And joining us this morning with what hackers are doing now and how we can potentially prevent all of it is our good friend Kevin Ricci from Citroen Cooperman Advisors. Good morning, Kevin. Great to be here. Thank Welcome you. back. Thank you. Always nice to see you. You know, it's a, it's vital, it's crucial that we remain cognizant of the fact that cybersecurity awareness is something that we should be vigilant with regard to throughout the entire year, but certainly this month uh, in particular, we want to kind of reassess our situation may and maybe reevaluate what we can do. So let's open with social engineering attacks such as spear phishing and talk really about how those have evolved because it seems every time this is under control, something else pops up and we need to be aware of it. Absolutely, you know, these attacks compared to just a few years ago are far more sophisticated and dangerous than they were. Uh, you know, that the, these criminals are certainly getting more and more advanced and right down to the logos and the signature blocks, they're able to really make facsimiles of, uh, you know, an, an authentic email. And uh, honestly, it doesn't matter how technologically savvy you are, Brendan, even Jeff Bezos, the owner of Amazon, for example, was fooled. He thought a Middle Eastern prince was contacting him, which he was actually friendly with, and it turned out to be a cyber attack, he lost a significant amount of information. So that leads to our first tip of the month, whether it's a Nigerian prince, a Middle Eastern prince, or even uh, Will Smith, the Fresh Prince, really <laughs> you just want to make sure you delete any of those types of emails. He's off and running. It's Roadshow Open Mike Night, Sorry. ladies and gentlemen. Run for your lives. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, but you make such a good point, Kevin. Let's talk about why these attacks are so successful because we think we've done everything we can mm -hmm. to evade them, but somehow they find a way. Absolutely. Yeah, so I think it was the great uh, cybersecurity expert, singer, and songwriter Taylor Swift who really nailed it when she said, Hi, it's me. I'm the problem. Yes. It's me. We keep clicking on these emails because all it, it, they know, the criminals know human nature is on their side. It only takes a moment of distraction or being too trustworthy to fall directly into their trap. Let's talk about how AI plays a role in all of this. Yeah, so there's no doubt that AI has been an incredible uh, you know, benefit to mankind. However, it's also been harnessed by these cyber criminals. You know, uh, English is not their first language, so they're now able to use, for example, ChatGPT to create very naturally sounding emails uh, that contain, uh, you know, uh, they're devoid of spelling mistakes and grammatical errors, makes it much easier for them to succeed. Let's talk about how these attacks are delivered you know are we talking email are we talking you know socially what do we need to be cognizant of here yeah so the primary delivery mechanism is still email but they're now branching out and using text messages known as smishing and voice calls known as vishing for example uh, the Las Vegas casino that was in the news the last couple of these weeks uh, that was initiated through a vishing attack the criminals contacted the IT help desk uh, socially engineered the, the individual into giving them login credentials believing that they were an employee they then were able to wreak havoc to the tune of over a hundred million dollars it's just so important that we remain, you know, on top of this stuff. We all have so much going on as it is, and Absolutely. to add, add one more thing to do, but it's so crucial that we do this. And let's talk about some of the best practices, Kevin, to avoid falling victim to a spear phishing attack. Yeah, absolutely. So you just want to make sure that you're really focused when these emails come into your inbox and really develop a, a healthy dose of skepticism anytime you're receiving an email or a text or a phone call asking for sensitive information. And then do a trust but verify approach, meaning that if you're unsure, you have even a scintilla of doubt, contact the sender by phone using a trusted number, confirm the authenticity of the message. This is why I won't give Will my email address. I'm I afraid he's going to try to I pull don't something. Blame <laughs> Absolutely. Not to be trusted. No. <laughs> Well, Kevin, it's always great to see you when you, you do such a great job of really breaking this down for us in a conversational and, and fun way that really reaffirms why it's important that we remain on top of this stuff and it's crucial. I know, like I said, that there's so much coming at us at all times that we need to try to do our best so Absolutely. we don't fall victim to this Absolutely. stuff. Thanks Absolutely. for being here. Thank you so much, Always Brandon. a pleasure, Appreciate buddy. Appreciate it. Thank you. If you would like to learn more all about how you can prevent these cybersecurity attacks and to learn more, to get advice from Kevin and his team, just visit us right now at roadshow.com.